Tioku is actually a 20-year-old company, roughly, and I view us sort of as an accidental uh, analytics company. You have to trace back the history of where we've come from, and fundamentally, we have been around uh, focusing on optimization. Where we started from was optimizing the financial side of the house, so understanding how services get deployed, how profitable they are, what they cost to the company, and a lot of the decisions was looking at data sets, looking at business agreements to make sure it was optimal. Over the years, we've evolved into acquiring other assets more in the network or the OSS side of the house. And here we were optimizing the network, looking at coverage and capacity. And more recently, we started looking into the RAN space, which is the radio access network side. And here we're trying to optimize coverage and performance of how the radio systems work. BSS and OSS data really represent a very broad set of data sets. So in a very typical engagement for us, we might see 80 types of data sets. Uh, the reason it's difficult is often those correspond to different organizations or silos within the operators. And the BSS or the business side will have information like uh, customer information, product information, pricing information, and other things around that side. Whereas on the network side, you will or the OSS side, you will find things like network information, such as performance data, errors, uh, coverage, and quality. Where this often comes together today is that normally these are handled sort of by themselves. So if you look at how people improve a network, they look at the network performance. By bringing the two together, we bring a business perspective on what has traditionally been a network problem. We look at every single service, every single offer these, uh, that, that operators have and how they work to deliver that. There are usually associated costs with these services and part of the focus is less on the cost but on the profitability or the performance of these services. So we look at business agreements, we look at how these things flow, who the different parties involved in delivering it and making sure that it is in fact optimal. So. One of the operators we were working with was looking at how their roamers performed. And as you're familiar, roaming is essentially a premium service so that you have the same uh, service at home and anywhere else that you travel. And as we took a look at all the roamers that they, they were looking at, we found some really interesting customers. We found a customer that was generating over $10,000 in revenue as a roamer. This is wonderful news if you're an operator. And from a marketing perspective, this is a high value customer. But the other area that we explored is not just looking at the retail revenue, we looked at the whole ecosystem, the business partnerships, and the wholesale agreements uh, that they had for these roaming. And what we found is for this person who was generating a large amount of revenue was actually, when he was in Australia on one particular network, he was generating about $2.70 in a loss for every dollar of revenue he generated. And when you multiply that by the over $10,000 he generated, this person was actually generating over $30,000 of loss in a month. That dramatically changes the perception of what's a valuable customer and what is not. Why is the analytics space such an interesting area for Tioko? Um, well, I think there's two sides to this. There are people that look at analytics as a problem-solving question to try and answer uh, things that they didn't understand, and that's very important. We try to do that too. But Tioko actually started not as an analytics company, and that's kind of important. If you look at the foundation of what we have, we have a lot of systems deployed in over 120 countries with 300 operators that solve what I call the operational problems, right? How profitable is the service? Where are my gaps in the network? And where do I deploy this? These are the foundational problems that power any operator. By putting a layer of analytics on top of that, you not only improve the operational efficiency of what you're doing, you also have access to the data to help power your more strategic questions. And I think that's a key differentiator for Tioko because many of the, uh, the analytics companies we see aren't part of that operational side. They may have access, but they either have, they don't have the expertise or they don't have access. And vice versa, if you're only an operational company without analytics, then you're solving the day problem, but you're not solving tomorrows. And it's really the combination of looking at the operational side, layering on the concept of an analytics layer that I think Tioco shines. And it's where I think we can really uh, provide value to operate.